Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another Project Pan update. This is for the Panning Cats and Dogs Project Pan. It is a Fantastic Ladies collab, and it was created by Deb B and Danny from Danny's Makeup. So go check out their channels because they have a lot of fun videos there too. This project ran from October 22nd, 2022, and it goes until October 22nd, 2023, which is National Make a Dogs Day, and I love that. So we were to start with six prompts and I started with six and I've added some more in because I really want to do all of the prompts this year. And um, yeah, so I figured by pulling in more, then I could possibly go through more of the prompts. We'll see. So let me go through what it is that I have in so far. The first prompt I have for, is for ball or toys, something that always rolls away, like a lippy, mascara, liner, etc. I put in this NYX um, lip liner in the shade Natural. It is a beautiful color, like beautiful. Okay, so my goal was to get to the P in makeup, but the problem is this is a lot harder of a pencil than I thought. Um, it's drier. It's a drier formula. I don't need to use as much of it or as often. So my goal was to get to that P in makeup, but I'm going to amend my goal and I'm going to say I'm going to use it 20 more times and then I'm going to roll this out because I really would like, like I said, to get through other prompts. So I'm going to put down goals 20 times and I'm going to mark that in my book right after I'm done with this video so I can remember that. And yeah, I wanna be able to roll something else in. So I hope you guys are okay with that. And I didn't wanna make the goal too easy, so I thought 20 would be good. The next thing I have in is for Rottweiler, a product you were scared of at first, but fell in love with. And that is my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Georgette. I mean, look at this color. I definitely was afraid of it, but now I love it. And here is a swatch of that. It is orange, but I am wearing it today and you can see that it's not really a scary color. I buffed it out and then I put a little bit of a topper over it and I really, really enjoy it. So my goal is to hit pan. I have not, but that's okay. I'm really enjoying using it. For boxer, items still in the box or packaging, I pulled in this um, Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil Priming Facial Elixir. I really, really love this stuff. This is beautiful for just putting on. I use this or the Bobbi Brown Face Base, and I, I don't know which one I like more. I like them both. So my goal is to get to the top of this circle and I barely could make another mark underneath that one so I didn't even bother marking it, but it's going to be in for a little while longer. I don't need a ton of it when I do use it. So there you go with that. Then for service slash emotional support animals, something that's loyal, a product that never lets you down. I pulled in my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. This thing works for me all the time. This is in fair, fair medium. And it doesn't matter when I use this. Okay, you'll see that it's pretty dark on my skin but it, you can really buff it out nicely. I love all these wands. They are just gorgeous. So I was able to make a new mark. I'm down to here. My goal is to finish this and it's gonna take me a while, but I'm okay with that. I'm really enjoying the product and I'm glad that it's still in. The next item I had is for Pug, item with cute packaging. I brought in my The Balm Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. I think the packaging is cute. Um, and my goal was to hit pan. And I did. Not only did I hit pan, but I hit big juicy pan. I'm so excited. I kept using it because I really do like this powder and I really would like to finish it this year. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I hit pan. So one roll out. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. The next product, English Mastiff, something with extremely bulky packaging. I pulled in this CeraVe 
CeraVe Anti or Itch Relief Moisturizing Cream. I love this stuff. I have a tendency to get really itchy. Um, it's not eczema, but like, I don't know. I think I just get really, really dry and then I itch. And then if, sometimes if I put lotion on, I itch more. And I think it's just all the lotion seeping in. I don't know what my deal is. But my goal was to finish this and I did. So this is rolling out as well. Gold matte. Very, very excited. So I'm able to pull in two products. For um, Border Collie, that's a highly intelligent animal, something that doesn't require any skill to use. I brought in this double-ended lippy from Tarte. It's the Tarte Lip Sculptor in Lively. So it has on one side the lipstick, and I'll swatch that. And then on the other side, it has the, la, the gloss. Whoa. And there that is. So I'll show you these swatches. So there is the lipstick and then the gloss. Very pretty, very nice formula, very easy to wear. My goal was to use this product until the lipstick is gone. And as you can see, it is not. I still have that much left. Um, and I was able to mark it on the cap. So I need to get down all the way to where the bottom of the cap is. So I'll lift it off. So you'll see I was able to make a pretty good jump and I need to finish it. So it'll, it'll go. I just, I don't know when, but it's going. And then for Bichon Frise Hypoallergenic, that's my Rosie. She's part Bichon and part Toy Poodle. Um, a clean makeup or skincare product. I chose to bring in my Westman Atelier sam samples. This is the bronzer contour. This is the, you can see I have, um, I hit pan in both of these. And this is the um, highlighter and lit. This is in biscuit, lit, and then petal is the blush. I wasn't, I can't see through that one yet. But these are okay. Um, no, I shouldn't say that. I love this bronzer contour shade and I would totally purchase this. It is a really spensy product, but I like that it's cool toned, so it really looks nice on me as opposed to the milk one, which I really like as well, but that's more um, of a true bronzer. This is a really nice contour. This lit shade, it's really weird. It's like Vaseline with um, holographic stuff in it or something. I don't even know. I would not repurchase that. And I, as much as I really like this blush shade, it's not anything special to my collection, so I would not repurchase that, but I would totally repurchase the contour. My goal is to get this out by next update. There is a lot more in these little thingies than I thought. And then finally, Munchkin Cat, childlike their entire lives, something with childlike packaging, Hello Kitty, etc. I went with like something small, childlike, like tiny. So I'm pulling in, I pulled in this pretty, um, Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation from ColourPop. And this is in the shade Light 50W. I'm wearing it today and it actually looks really great on my skin. I was really kind of afraid of this shade, but it's really working well for me. My goal is to finish it. It's not gone. This will be in for a long time, but that's okay. So I'm able to pull in two um, items. So uh, my spreadsheet goes from line 20 to line 42. So that's what I put in here and I'm gonna roll twice. Whoa, 36, 37. So 36 and 37 are the two prompts I chose. I will be back to tell you what those prompts are and what products I chose to bring in for them. Okay, I'm back. It was a little harder than I thought. This is, this. you'll see, okay. So the first item I got was the cat tree item. Item with asymmetrical packa packaging or stackable products. I don't have anything that stacks. Like I don't have any of those things that open up like the Kaja Bento, bo Kaja Bento boxes or anything like that. So I looked up asymmetrical, cause I'm like, I like at first I was thinking this, The I was thinking LYS because it's hard to store, you know, weird packaging. But then I'm like, no, this is symmetrical, right? So asymmetrical is having parts or aspects that are not equal or equivalent. So I decided to go with my Milani Luminoso blush because if you hold it like this, this part here is not the same as the bottom. And then it like goes like, it, it's like a hump. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, I'm going with this. And I have hardly used this. So there's a swatch. There's a swatch. It is very, 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 very pretty. And I'm excited to get some use out of this. My goal is to use it 10 times. So there, asymmetrical. Hopefully that works. Tell me what you think about that. The next product I'm bringing in is for Pomeranian. 
always seem to be smiling, so you're supposed to choose a lip product. I am bringing in this Milani lipstick. This is in the shade Naked. It's a matte formula, and um, I have this in my Plan to Pan bin. It's an older lipstick of mine. It's beautiful shade. So I'll show you what this looks like right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It reminds me of the color pot or the Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, so we'll see. But I marked it on the cap and I'm all the way up here at that line and my goal is going to be to get down to the dot. There we go. You can kind of see it better there. Okay, so that's my goal. So those are the two products I'm rolling in. If you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.